our region has emerged as a big player in the wind energy business, not so much as a generator of wind energy, although windmills are sprouting here and there all over the place, but more as a supplier of all the parts that it takes to build a windmill. And there's no bigger part than the windmill blades themselves, which tend to be made of fiberglass. And homegrown PPG Industries just happens to be a big fiberglass provider. Cheryl Richards is Global Market Development Manager for Wind Energy at PPG. Welcome, good to see you. Thank you, Bill. I guess we've watched the windmills sprouting up all over the place. So probably a lot of people haven't made the, the local connection, but this is, a, I guess, a growing new market for PPG? Absolutely. Um, it's got a very high growth rate. It's, um, we say double digit, but it's um, slowed down a little bit because China's come on so strong recently, but uh, we're probably looking around 10%. It's a global market. So the growth to us means manufacturing and uh, fiberglass and coatings going into the wind turbines, but it also represents a growth opportunity for new technology. Are windmills getting, you know, uh, they seem to be getting bigger. Are they getting more efficient? Is this becoming more and more a viable technology when it, co when it comes to just competing with other forms of energy, energy generation that's, that are out there? Certainly. So it's a relatively young industry, so say about 25 years. Um, you started with rather small machines in the, we call it kilowatt or megawatt. Um, long ago in the kilowatt size and now we're in the multiple megawatt and as they get larger you get a better ability to capture energy and deliver the power okay so there's an efficiency gained with larger turbines and for us larger blades um, of course it means more material but um, the energy efficiency pays back into a cost of energy decrease, which if you're going to compete in the energy industry, you need to be competitive. So we always are looking out for cost of energy competitiveness. I would think there has to be a whole lot of material science R&D that goes into making these things bigger and bigger because they got to get lighter, I would think, right, to be able to scale them. Well, absolutely. That's why they're using uh, fiberglass in the blades. So I think um, you might find it interesting. The blades are hollow and they're composite, so it's a combination of fiberglass plus resin, whether it's a polyester or epoxy resin system, glued together. And um, that gives them their lightweight and their strength. And that's what it takes. So, you know, you've got to think about, you've got to have the wind blowing these units and you can't have something very heavy. But it, um, you mentioned it's got to be ripe for material science. I mean, I think all energy is, you know, a materials world. So we're looking at new technologies to enable these things to be larger, to allow the blades to get larger. And then again, that allows it to be more competitive in terms of competing against the fossil fuels. Well, that would seem to give our region a real edge. You know, when you think about our expertise in material science kind of across the board, when you look at the needs in the energy business, we, we would seem to have a lot to offer. Well, yeah, because Pittsburgh, look at how we grew up and what we're founded in, very basic materials, which I think some people might call them commodities. But when you look at things like wind energy, um, and you could think about all the new facilities going in, building the turbines and the blades, but it all comes back down to fundamental materials. So you need steel, you need aluminum, you need paint, you need fiberglass, you need glass, even glass into photovoltaics. So very critical role that this region can play in this industry. Does PPG have to really understand, I guess, the end user? Do you get involved in kind of developing new ways to make the fiberglass to, be, to, to really maximize the benefit of this? It's not selling just a commodity to somebody who calls and says, I need some fiberglass. No, absolutely not. I mean, and that's how we really got engaged, say, starting back in 2004. Although we were supplying into the industry, we decided to study and say, let's really know what's going on here. And from there, we developed a strategy that uh, brought us into focusing on what we call the OEMs, or the GEs, the Siemens, the Gamesas, the Vestuses of the world and understanding because they had these rather large rapid growth plans growing from Europe within you know out to the globe understanding what their needs are who their supply chain was what the requirements of the products were what was driving any issues within their manufacturing and then connecting back to R&D and say where are you guys going and what do you need because we can deliver on that so you, you absolutely have to go back. I mean, but I think you need to do that in any industry you sell to. You know, what is that end user 
what's driving them, and how can you help them? Well, with the kind of growth we're seeing, and we've talked about it in this program, about the, the projected growth for the wind energy, I would think as, as young people in our region are thinking about career opportunities, this, this would be a space that, that seems to be full of opportunity. Oh, and it's fun, too. <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh, absolutely. I mean, you can go into, I mean, so you've got about 8,000 components that go into a wind turbine. So you've got jobs um, like how I originated PPG, but I was a material scientist. So you've got fundamental materials engineering. Um, but you've got all the engineering, you know, think about it, electricity. So you've got electrical engineering, uh, mechanical engineering. So you've got all those forms, environmental. Uh, you've got people involved in permitting, so you, you've got legal, um, so <laughs> there's a lot of legal impact. Business people, so uh, manufacturing, um, operations people. People would just like to make things, right? Yeah. <laughs> so it, it goes back into um, all the disciplines, and it's um, energy and wind energy. It's going to be around for a long time, so you'd be able to have a very good career. And then with it, because it's a global market, you can see the world, too. Wow. Really excited. You're really jazzed about this. <laughs> I, I tell everyone I have the best job in PPG just because of the market. Again, it's growing, so there's a demand for our product. It's growing in technology, so you get to play with a lot of people. And because there's policy issues, you get to intersect, um, you know, whether it's within people around the world or many different functions. Um, I just find that fun. Well, wow, really cool. Well, uh, glad, to, glad to see you're having fun. Glad to see it happening here in our region. Cheryl Richards from PPG, thanks so much. Well, thank you, Bill. And we'll be back in a minute with a little dollars and cents. Stay with us.